So, hi guys, welcome to Pixie Nettery and I'm Pixie. This video for real took me years to make and in light of the recent events it became without understatement a life goal to make at this point. I started this doll yet in 2016, but then I didn't have much skills. I played League of Legends then actively and this character was one of my mains back then. This February I decided to make her doll once again, because the League of Legends Arcane series came out on the screen, and I felt another wave of inspiration. So why this intro is necessary? I want you to know a few things before moving to the actual video. My position and my point of view. You already should know what happening in Ukraine. And I'm a Ukrainian artist. Some of you already might know that as well. I can tell you endlessly about what is happening in Ukraine right now, what horrors and destructions Russian terrorists brought to our land this February deep at night by the same scenario as Nazis performed back in the days. They called us their brothers, they imposed on us their values, they assaulted us multiple times and then they attack us with full force, vilely and inhumanly. I will remember the morning of the 24th of February till the end of my life, just like any Ukrainian citizen all over our peaceful country. I was born and grew up in Alchevsk, its Lugansk region. I spent my childhood and went to school there. It is hometown to my dad. Later, when the time came, I moved to Yalta, Crimea, where I got my graphic designer bachelor's degree. Yalta is hometown of my mother. In 2014, the world I knew was shattered by the first part of Russia invasion. I moved to Lviv to finish my education as a magister and got my Ukrainian diploma. Because in Crimea they wanted me to receive the Russian one, which wasn't even an option for me. I have never been able to come back to any of those places for 8 years now. I lost some of my family members there and some I wasn't able to meet again. By the circumstances I was lucky enough to be witness to everything that happened then. I'm here not to tell you much about specific events that took place from that moment till this day. There is already an enormous amount of confirmation of what unspeakable crimes Russians are doing in Ukraine and with Ukrainian people. Photos, videos, witnesses. It will take forever to show. I will also not show those here for obvious reasons for me as creator. I hope I don't need to explain my reasoning. You can check my Instagram Pixinatory for some of these materials if you want to watch the situation from my perspective. In this simple message I want everyone to know that I will never forgive and I will never forget what the Russians did to my homeland. They made me, my family and my friends feel such emotions and see such things that I wish no one had to experience ever in their lives. War crimes like so should never be ignored and the consequences must be translated everywhere where possibly could. I want my message also to be here, so you could see that people touched by those events are real. They are near you, and what is currently happening is so much closer than you think. I hope that when everything will end, I will still be able to make my dolls. I will still have home and family, and I will still be alive. I wish my Ukraine and the people of my country only prosperity, only independence and only freedom. We're smart, joyful, intelligent, kind, but rough people. Everyone who will try to take any of that from us will be doomed, because you can take the soul of the whole nation. We are Dandelion people, we will break any concrete eventually. To my foreign friends and every one of you who is watching me, I wish you the best. I wish you to remember what it takes to fight for the simple privileges like the freedom to think and speak, to stay safe, to have home, to have vital resources like food or water in the modern world. I wish every one of you to be open-minded and never close your eyes to one simple truth. Freedom isn't a thing you take for granted. Freedom is a state of mind you develop yourself and what you have to fight for. Ukraine now is fighting for freedom not only for our people, but for the future of many more. Those events are bigger than we can yet imagine. I sincerely hope that Ukraine will hold it. And we need our friends to help us. We need the help of any human who cares. The very least I can do to make peace closer is to share information and to ask for help from you, my audience. 
I will leave links where you can donate directly to needs of Ukraine, our people, our volunteers and our army in the description box. You can pick any source you want. All these links are legit and your help will go directly where it should. If you feel like you want to help specifically me, like one single person, I will leave my PayPal account also in the description box. All money I will direct to my personal needs, developing my business and supporting local businesses in Ukraine. I want you to know that any help is now crucial and it means life for someone here, in Ukraine. I will be grateful for any support you can offer. Very important help that you can provide is if you simply will not ignore what is happening to us and if you will share information and links. On my behalf, I will try to continue making doll videos while I possibly can, because many of doll artist colleagues whom I know personally here in Ukraine are cut from that ability now. They lost their homes and their safety. And I must keep up doing what I am able to do because I still can. Ukraine is still under attack from Russian invaders and missiles destroying our beautiful cities and killing our hard-working and innocent people. To everyone worried, I am now in a relatively safe region and at the moment this video came out, I am still at my home in Ukraine. I am healthy and adapted to a new reality. I am hopeful about the future and realistic about the present. I will try to do everything to stay safe. Now that I got everything from my chest, let me introduce you to Jinx, my newest custom doll video. Wish you have great time watching it. Slava Ukraini! And here we are, welcome to Pixinatory, guys! Today I will show you how I created Jinx doll from the League of Legends Arcane series. I know you can't find a more inappropriate time for a doll with guns and bombs, but come on. There is already enough salt in this character, just let me be. I'm for real trying to make this doll since 2016, and I started to make this one at the beginning of February of 2022, just right before events at my home. I picked Descendants, I don't know who is this character, as a base doll. Her head I shrank with acetone to make it smaller. With acrylic yarn I will make base for her wig. This yarn has thinner thread than the regular one, so I manually dissolve it. I like this yarn because I get long and silky fibers out of it as a result. When all threads dissolved, I make tails from them and brush all excess fibers out. I keep fiber leftovers for future projects. Then straighten it with iron and brush again while still hot. I make enough for few tries, just in case. Off camera I made wefts. With nylon hair I will make braids. You just can't achieve the required length of the braids with acrylic yarn or it will just take an eternity to make. When the glue is dry, I took off threads and clipped those with paper clips. To the table I'm attaching a clamp. Poke there a pencil and on that pencil put a paper clip with the tail and start braiding. This way I can be sure braids will be dense. With hair clips I fixed the ends of the braids. Braids are ready, so now let's decorate them. Those are all shells of a small caliber rifle, which I asked for at the local shooting range. Jinx has similar on her braids, and the diameter of those is just perfect match. Don't worry, those were used just to shoot at paper targets. Pair of screw nuts I get from my fiance's toolbox. With acrylic wefts, I am making the base of the wig. When it is ready, I attach braids, brush the wig, style and trim everything. So far so good, but I am gonna destroy this one later. Jinx has flat heel, so I am gonna modify her feet. With my rotary tool, I cut her feet into pieces just to reassemble them into the desired shape. Old Slicker's metallic pins will serve as connectors.
With a drill I made holes in all fit parts and attached them in the right shape. Epoxy sculpt to serve as filler to fill the gaps. Mix it only in gloves as the instruction says, but sculpting with hands is ok I guess. Of course if don't have any allergic reactions. Adding a heel and sculpting a bit of a shape. With engraver and sanding paper I sand all the roughness. Attach feet to the legs. Fill the gap and smooth everything out. In the process I made pair of boot tips. I had to strengthen some joints with layer of super glue though, and off camera sand off some places of the doll's body. With model paint I cover feet with few layers of paint. On the ever after high body I put descendants hands because of their relaxed gesture. Because those were quite worn off I repainted them as well. Add some jinx details. The cracked neck I reinforce with glue and paper tissue. On her body I'm driving cloud tattoos jinx has. I bet those are gunpowder clouds. With gouache paints I'm coloring the white pencil outline I drew before. Now to sew in the outfit and I am starting with striped pants. Sewing up the front seam. Flatten it with iron. Bottom edges I am tearing with scissors. Smudge them with glue to avoid fringing. Making base decor jinx have on her pants. It is some kind of pocket bags. One green or hockey and one dust magenta. Starting with the hockey part. While the paint is drying I am sewing up the dust magenta pocket. On the edge I will sew up grey ribbon border. Trying it on and then to the ribbon. I am making secret stitching between two layers of the pocket to hide all threads inside and then iron everything. Two parts of green hockey pockets I am connected together. With paints I want to draw thin green stripes on the pants. It was a long hideous process and in the end I had to redo one of the legs. Stripes on that are just off. When it is done I attach pockets to the waist. Now finishing the pants. Look pretty similar to me. The colors are a bit mismatched, but it still works great for me. Jinx has quite a tricky top and I wanted it to be just like hers. I saw some are making it looks like a t-shirt or a crop top, but it is basically some kind of singlet, within an intricate closure system. Which was a pain in the bum to figure out. Eventually I made inside the top some velcro clip, belt wrapping under the bust and on the back ribbon and ring ties. All of that I was thinking out while I was decorating the top with multiple small decoration elements Jinx has on her outfit. Like studs, openings, fabric crosses and so on. At the first sight it seems like Jinx has quite a simple outfit but only till the moment you start making it on the doll scale. So there were just enormous amount of steps that I honestly have no energy to describe. 
you see everything by yourself. Her belts are also an, an important addition to her pants, so go into that. There are basically three PU stripes attached all together into a letter X on a hoop. Such as all her outfit, on the belt Jinx has useless but cute design decisions, which I had much fun reproducing. Her boots also was pretty challenging. Specifically for those I made her flat feet. With paper tape I made patterns. Then transferred those onto the paper and made corrections. To the epoxy tips I made I add warbler cuffs to make boots bulkier and to protect the feet. The first pair of warbler soles I'm adding right away. With scissors adjust its size. With black PU fabric and ribbons I'm making the base of the boots. All details I'm sewing up together. With cotton I'm making boot lining and sewing it up to the PU base. Make boot tongues by gluing both fabrics to each other. To the base I'm attaching heel back piece. Tips of the boots I'm covering with pieces of PU fabric. Then sew up the tongs to the tips. Trim excess warbler. Make few pairs of soles of cardboard and warbler and start layering them. The second layer of soles. Before attaching bases to the tips, I'm making eyelets for laces. And now attaching bases to the rest of the boot. With warbler I make a back piece of a heel. With magenta threads make few decor stitches and put laces on the boots. With some shiny fabrics I'm making the rest of the boot decor. We're done here and it is time to finish soles. 
With more warbler I'm shaping the soles of the boots. This material is pretty flexible, so you can achieve almost any shape you want. Now I'm painting it grey. Done with boots. Last but not least part of the Jinx's outfit are her sleeves. She has quite a layered colorful situation going on there, so I will just make it in silence so you can enjoy the process. Basically what I will do there is to color pattern so those in the specific direction and add some belts and buckles. So here we are done as well. I ordered these models from a local 3D printing company from Dnieper, since I haven't my own 3D printer. And I'm totally happy with the result. Firstly, I wanted to make everything myself, but not this time. The models I took are free. I found those on the model stock sources. Links on the models I will put down below. I know those are not specifically arcane canonical models, but those are still Jinx's equipment from the game. At this point of my doll making process the war in Ukraine became massive, and I was literally not thinking about the canonical look you know. I was continuously interrupted with sirens and I had to work fast. I never knew if it was the last day when I will stay in my workspace, or if it will be the time to leave everything I haven't flee, in the best case. When you have to live in such conditions every day, your emotions become dull. You are become not that sensitive anymore because it is just in an impossible state for your mental health. I never was a person who was too naive about the overall life and death situation, to begin with. And I am a person with quite realistic and in some way unpopular views on the afterlife. So I believe that you have to live your life at this right moment, like you will not have anything later. No other chances. In this case, it is guaranteed that you will think more, choose carefully, and value important things more. But war? It highlights everything you had inside and put it on the table. I'm the lucky one, I'm still at my home, but my hands are shaking because at any moment it can change. Now I am able to continue doing what I'm doing, I'm hopeful that it will last. Back to my Jinx doll. Jinx herself is quite chaotic character, with a bold tint of mental instability in her. Arcane wonderfully described her character in the series. In game she was more flat, if you know what I mean. So I loved Arcane so much because it showed so much more about Jinx and her relations with the people and the world. Jinx has names to all of her weapons, you know. The rocket launcher is fish bones, the minigun is pow pow, the gun is zapper, and hand grenades are chompers. I made each one of them because all of them are cool and look right in her design. But you can see that those look quite similar to a kid's toys. Those have names just like any kid would give to a teddy bear. Their funny shapes reminds me of a toys as well. It makes me think that Jinx actually is trying to protect her inner world, her past. And that's why she's trying to stay infantile, eternal little sister. As any kid can be mean, Jinx became truly cruel. Seems like she doesn't care about the consequences. But she's an adult and she knows it. So she totally understands what she's doing. What makes her character not only impulsive but calculating at the same time. But those two mix badly, so it never ends well. This is what makes her what she is. A naturally dangerous criminal. I decided to make her just because her character was so fun to play back in the days. Even after watching the Arcane series, I just adore how artists remake her design to fit into her past self. 
She is one of the signature characters of the game. It is no surprise that everyone loved her. I am no exception. I highly recommend you to watch the Arcane series, but never play the actual game, guys. <laughs> it is my first try to draw her face and I was just all over the place with that. It just didn't come out well. At the beginning it was okayish, but then I just screwed it. It is truly hard to make art when you are actually feel that you aren't safe anywhere in your country. When you have to hear all the bad news out there, see all horrors of the war, and everything is actually happening. At my Instagram I shared my thoughts about it. I was afraid of how my art would transform into the new reality. And fortunately the second try was successful. I took a break and decided to make some kind of box to store all Jinx's items during transportation. Yes, I'm selling this doll. Write me in DM at my Instagram if you want to buy her. And yeah, this box is hella familiar shape with the missile, but it is just fish bait box and it opens. At this point, I don't care what do you think about it. <laughs> just let me finish her. Consider me quite ironic with dark sense of human Ukrainian doll artists. I'm not agreeing with less. Actually, after making this edgy container, let's name it that way, I felt much better. Art is therapeutic and I'm for real blessed that I'm able to show it during this time to every one of you. I'm for real happy that you are watching it. Please show me your gratefulness in comments or likes. It keeps me motivated and shows me that you are actually an attentive and caring watcher. It will make my day better, just know it. So a few seconds ago you witnessed the appearance of second try of the week, because the first one I accidentally ripped off the doll's head, which caused the irreparable damage to it. And exactly at that moment the first face-up try was destroyed in an anger insanity episode. It is better to destroy a thing when you have something going not as planned. Care about your closest ones. Destroy things, not your mental health. <laughs> From that moment I felt it was the right decision. And I gave this face second try just right after I painted the rocket box. This time I caught the Y bright and this try was successful. So far I like everything about this doll. I adore every particle of her and I value her no matter what an evil shit of a character she is. I hope you can feel it. So far I wish you guys to stay safe, to have great time. To remember that life is quite a moment and we need to try to get maximum we are able in any circumstances because being happy is a choice. When you are safe you are actually can make this choice. Here in Ukraine we value our freedom because we clearly know it brings us happiness. You can help us in many ways, just try to see these ways and choose to be caring instead of indifferent. Thank you for staying here with me today guys. Please watch this video till the end for a final result. Subscribe, leave a comments and likes, so I can see that you hear me. At this moment, it is time for me to say, hopefully, see you in my next videos, guys. Bye!
my jump against coming, I rolled in the one of those squad. Hearts feel bright like back then. Uh, talk back till I stop back. Uh, this ain't brown, this that dark black. This that pitch black, jet black. Snap your ex, watch me give them flashbacks. Pressure's rising fast as lightning, they can't stop it now. If you ain't talking realness, then just change the topic now. They laughing at the top like they can't see the bottom. And they thought I needed help, but I got here without them. I am sharper than a pack of hundred razor blades. When the smoke clears out of here, but they name go fade. I'ma be here doing it, doing it my way. They said I should change it up, but what did I say? Oh, yeah, you mad, I'm racking up white diamonds. Don't be in the sky, you a sweat of That magic all on me, I feel like I'm Tracy McGrady. Enemy circles around me, 360, I count them with eight. I've been equipped with the spirit beside me since I was a baby, just getting chaotic. I made me a product for causing the chaos right here. I like this yarn because I get long and silky fibers out of the test result. <laughs> when all threads dissolve, I... it is so hard to act like everything is normal, guys. It is not. <laughs>